In this video, I will cover fundamental value investor style analysis on NVIDIA. Here is the chart. It is relatively quite expensive when you look at where it's come from to where it is. On this split adjusted chart, the most recent low is around 12 to 13 dollars and it has gone up as much as 120. Let's look at the fundamentals. I'm going to be using data from Seeking Alpha. Here we show it has a forward PE of 40.98. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Let's jump over to the balance sheet. The first thing I want to do when looking at any stock is to make sure the debt is in line and reasonable and not excessive. So we show 11 billion in debt and 31 billion in cash. Enterprise value matches the market cap, so we are good to go here. Since we already looked at the debt, we can move forward to the earnings. If we look at the earnings for 2025, which is technically this, this year, 2024, 40 PE, 40.9 PE, is somewhat expensive. So this is more of a momentum growth valuation stock, which means we are expecting a rosy future and growing earnings. Analysts give their expectations. And as we, as we can see, they are rising year after year at a high growth rate. I have expanded the earnings expectations by analyst. And as you can see, there's about nine years of earnings, 10 if you count this year. And $2.74 is what ex is expected this year. And by 2034, that number in EPS will become $8.41. So there are two valuations we want to look at. We want to look at this year's valuation and we also want to estimate a forward valuation depending on your holding period. I like to look at five years and 10 years to get an idea of is this company expensive today and is it worth holding for the future. Now in the beginning I said I would look at this from a valuation standpoint and a 40 PE is not a value price it is a growth price so what is a fair price from a value investor standpoint a value investor would want to compare the earnings to treasuries and would then also consider something of a return in excess of treasuries so let's look at the treasury rate we're going to use the 10 year rate as our basis. The yield right now is 4.2%. So a value investor will say, Hey, look, why would I give up a 10 year at 4.2 and choose a risky stock? I would only do it. A value investor would say if it's more than that, a deep value investor might even say, I won't buy a stock until it's two times the 10 year rate. So that's closer to eight or 9%. So keeping in mind where bonds are, let's say 4%, we're going to factor in what price would make the EPS expect expected of 274 match up with the bonds. So we're going to do 2.74 divided by 0.04 and 68 is what we're getting. 68.5 would make the yield match up with the bonds. So that would roughly be a value price, 67, 60, $68. That doesn't, that doesn't mean I believe the Nvidia has to fall to $68. It only means that if the stock fell to 68, it would start to become a value price. Anything below that 
would be a value or deep value price based on the earnings stream. What would a deep value price be? Well, that would be the same 274 earnings divided by something like 8%. So we'll do 274 divided by 0 0.08. $34. So assuming Nvidia did fall, we would be quite comfortable buying in the $34 range because the earnings yield for that price would be better than treasuries. In my opinion, Nvidia is priced for growth and therefore expensive so i would generally prefer this stock to be much cheaper before i invested but let's say it did fall below 80 60 40 let's say it did go down there what would the future hold potentially or what's the earnings power and potential valuation for nvidia so we need to paint a future picture using the earning earnings power that investors and analysts could see happening so in 2034 as far as analysts are saying nvidia could could earn eight dollars and 41 cents so let's calculate some multiple on that number we're going to take the eight dollars and 41 cents and we're going to apply a market multiple now typically i try to use something like 20 or 30 and sometimes even higher if it's a high growth company. But let's just start with 20 on that expected EPS, $168. If it was, if there was higher growth expected in the future, I might use a 30 times 8.41. So something in the 200 to 250 range, which makes a lot of sense. Nvidia is expensive right now. There's a lot of growth expected in the future, but if it's overvalued and growth is slowing down, that price might come down and then make it more attractive because at the lower prices, you make more money as it grows into some, some real value. We showed that the potential upside for Nvidia for the next decade could be a $250 target. Now, if you buy it at a hundred dollars and it goes to 250 you only double your money for 10 years which is not a great return but if the stock fell to 40 dollars or 60 dollars it would be a better return to buy it down there and then let it go up to 250. that's my analysis that's why i like to do deep value uh, analysis for price targets if nvidia does come down from this rosy price, this this fair weather price, it would be a better investment. And I sure hope it does because it's, it's a very high PE currently and investors don't make money when something is already expensive. I hope you found this useful.